Many onions, once harvested, are sent to a packing shed where trash is removed and the bulbs are packed. In this video, you will observe how onions destined for processing are cleaned of debris, topped, segregated into various sizes, and automatically placed into bins. Though these are processing onions with fleshy scales and leaves, the procedures and equipment used are the same for dry onions destined for food service and retail sale. The packing shed manager is Alfonso Chico Coronado, and he will be teaching us about their process. At the beginning of the packing line are hoppers, which will receive the freshly harvested onions. A truck with open trailers, also called gondolas, filled with onions pulls up to the hoppers. The driver then removes locking bolts on the side panels on each of the gondolas, which allows the onions to roll into the hoppers. The gondolas can also be tilted, forcing the onions into the hoppers. The onions are lifted by elevator conveyors to begin the sorting, sizing, and packing process. The freshly harvested onions are of various sizes, have long fleshy necks, and are entangled with leaves, bulb scales, and other trash. This trash must be removed. We have these uh, two eliminators that take a moss, all the skin, and drop it so we don't take it to the bins. And we drop the small onions, a lot of skin, uh, little rocks, the stuff that we don't need in the bins. The onions pass over the eliminators. Small bulbs, leaves, scales, and other debris falls between the rubber lines, allowing the larger bulbs to move onto the toppers, which cut the fleshy leaves at the top of the bulbs. From here, they go to those uh, four uh, toppers, and those toppers, what they do, sometimes we get long tops, and those toppers that cut the top right here, make it a little shorter, better for gills onions. The top bulbs exit the toppers and move on for sorting and sizing. Workers remove damage bulbs, bulbs that are split, bulbs that contain doubles, bulbs with decay, and off-colored bulbs. This process is called culling, and the culled bulbs are collected and sent to dairies as feed. The sorted onions then move on to the sizer. Okay, right here we have a new sizer. They, they put it on this year, and it's been working so good for us. They're, uh, in the future, we're going to have more machinery like this in King City. What we do right here is a sizer that divides the sizes in small, mediums, small jumbos, super jumbos, colossos. The first drop is for the small size. Second drop is a little bigger and so on. The sizer consists of two levels of rotating steel rods that are initially close together. As the rods move forward, the top rods slowly move upward, increasing the gap between them and the lower rods allowing progressively larger bulbs to drop through. At this shed, the medium-sized bulbs drop first, followed by small, jumbo, then super jumbo, and finally colossal-sized bulbs. The bulbs on the left are super jumbos and are between 3.5 to 4 inches in diameter. The bulbs on the right are small jumbos and are a half inch less in diameter. Super jumbos are a special processing size for Gills Onions. Gills Onions is continually updating its equipment. A new addition to the packing line is an automatic bin filler or stacker. Once the bin is filled, it moves down the line and to the right. The equipment is capable of stacking three bins, which can then be easily moved by a forklift. The bins are tilted at the beginning of the fill cycle. This allows the bulbs to roll into the bin, which reduces damage and bruising. As the bin fills, it will slowly settle to eventually become horizontal. Older, less automated filling equipment uses a sensor to determine when a bin is full. An arm with a neoprene pad allows the onions to fall and roll onto the bins, reducing bruising and other damage. When the bin is half full, the arm with neoprene pad will rise and the bulbs will then fall directly into the bin. Sized onions are identified by tags of different colors. For example, blue means colossal and green means super jumbo. There are also orange and purple tags. We have a different colors and each color means a different size. We have green, we have blue, we have orange, and we got purple. And in these stacks, 
we have all the information the the um, we got starting from the field since you, you plant the onions all the information is right here color of the onion size of the onion lot number farmer all the info is right here in this tax in case if we got any problems we always can go back and track the seed until the finished product white bins identify onions destined for the process plant green bins are for waste only the legal maximum weight for an 18-wheeler is 80,000 pounds, and Gills Onions tries to load the trucks as close to 80,000 pounds as possible. The truck is weighed before leaving the packing shed, and once cleared, will leave for the processing plant. Sometimes the onions will be sold to other processors. In this case, the bins of onions will be repacked into 2,000-pound bags. At the repacking line, bins of onions will be repacked into 2,000 pound bags or, in some cases, much smaller 50 to 25 pound bags. The bins are not sent, as it is difficult to retrieve them, and in 2016, the cost of a bin was $165. Whether harvested for retail sale or processing, onions must be culled, sorted, and sized before packing, and this is done in centrally located packing houses. Automation has increased the efficiency of these processes and will continue to be implemented to reduce costs for both the farmer and consumers. Good production, harvesting practices, and efficient packing ensure that high-quality onions are available for processing in the retail marketplace.